I'm a, a fan of sort of letting the greyhounds socialise together. They normally go out in groups of three, four or five to sort of stimulate the dog in a, in a positive manner with other dogs. You know, basically, you're letting dogs be dogs. They are pa essentially are a pack animal and they actually thrive in that sort of environment. And on a daily basis, I always put them out in the paddock. Just doing that is just, it's amazing how much they thrive on just being together and, and being like a family. It definitely helps them when they transition into a pet because they're used to being with other dogs and they generally don't care what type of dog it is. I've seen other breeds of dogs that think they're greyhounds and greyhounds that think they're other dogs. My daughter, she comes down and for a greyhound that's completely different. You know, there's always that common thing that they want to chase and there's nothing further from the truth when you you can expose a child to a kennel full of greyhounds and it's just, you know, they, they just, they, they love it. You know, when you have owners that want to come along, they, they actually want to get involved with them and just that contact with the, someone different and exposes the dog to sort of being, you know, into what they can be when they're after racing. We try and, you know, socialise them as much as with dogs and as people as much as you can and when you get that opportunity, whether it be at the races or at home, um, it's definitely a beneficial thing for the greyhounds and uh, hopefully it shows uh, towards the end when um, it's time for it to be a pet. Yeah.